Hi everyone, it's the 30th of July 2020. Edison, say hello. <laughs> Off he goes, a happy boy. Here in Folkestone in Kent on the, on the top of one of the, the hills overlooking the, the town and the, the scene. It's absolutely spectacular. And as you can see, Edison's enjoying himself too. It's absolutely spectacular up here. You okay, Edison? <laughs> so just an update, really. Um, first video in a little while. Been away with uh, on holiday with the family. A staycation. Made no difference to travel restrictions at all because we're not really kind of looking to take Edison on an airplane at the moment with him being so young anyway he's quite happy uh, you know being closer to home and you know I've had some good times um, I went out with my, 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 a couple of my friends and they told me about the excess deaths we've got in the UK 60,000 they said you've got to you've got to be you know we've had 60,000 excess deaths how can you explain that and it's a good question and my answer potentially would be on the same day the health minister uh, Nick Hancock in the UK has said that um, he's raised um, a public an urgent inquiry into the public health England for a way that statistics of um, COVID-19 have been reported and it basically um, came to light that people never recover from COVID-19 after they've been tested if they die later they um, will be classified as a COVID-19 death so for example someone who was um, tested in March or April and confirmed to have the virus later died maybe recovered maybe May, later in May or June um, died from a car accident would be classified as COVID-19 death so clearly the information has been flawed um, it's, it's interesting it's really the first time we've seen officials come out and say it um, a lot of people have been questioning it for a while you okay Edison good boy so right this way so that's interesting but people's perception how it even though it may be improving um, the situation might not be as bad as before people still was um, Affected psychologically by the virus as they ever have been uh, a lot of people kind of recovering uh, recovered or you know, life returning to some normality but others still feel um, very very worried about it the virus is still a very um, dangerous political uh, what's the word emotive subject for so many people because of their families how they've been maybe affected by it uh, it's in, it really is emotive and at a what's the word divisive so emotive and decisive I've certainly had some arguments with my friends about it and uh, I don't want to do that no more I've, just, I've kind of gone past it people can believe or consider what they want airplane. yes what is it airplane mountain. mountain absolutely amazing how he manages to see the airplanes and everything it's his awareness of the world is absolutely fantastic Edison can you see the train the train over there, look, quickly. Look, Edison, the train. Edison, train. Train? Train. No? Train. <laughs> yeah, train's over there. Can you see it now? So that's the tunnel, uh, Euro Tunnel, the shuttle, or um, one of the freight trains. Just come through the tunnel tunnel. Daddy. Yes, sweetheart. No. The cars? Tunnel. The tunnel, tunnel. The tunnel? I think it's the bridge which you can see down there. Hey. Which is the bridge hey. and the tunnel. He's, he's got this new train set hey. and he's got a bridge and a tunnel and he's absolutely adores it, don't you, son? Do you like trains? <laughs> so, lovely weather here. Just taking a little pause now. Edison's quite happy up here, quite content. Edison, can you see the sea? Daddy. Yeah?
And I suppose the only other thing which is kind of like I've seen, which has been a little bit striking, COVID-19 related, is there's some health um, article which has come out in America. Daddy, yes. No, no chains. And it basically um, suggests a correlation between 5G and coronavirus. So this is based on the frequencies of 5G and how they interact with cells at a certain level, a cellular level. That's my understanding of it, a little bit interpretation. Um, interesting to see what academics really think about it. Um, doesn't fit potentially the narrative of mainstream media. Um, there's a lot of investment in 5G infrastructure, everything else. I can't see people um, wanting to make any changes to things. But it's interesting that when a few months ago so much was suggested, a lot of people were banned on YouTube for even suggesting it and everything else. I think I mentioned it in the video. So all those people considered crazy um, maybe still are crazy, I'm not, I'm not going wrong suggesting that, but otherwise, but um, we can go down the hill. But there's now at least, I suggest, um, some kind of some, uh, some serious time to be spent on it, suggesting it. And it wouldn't be published or people with clever people. You know, academics etc wouldn't surely there must be something towards it so it's interesting what, is it, what do you want sweetheart Cuddle. Cuddle? do you want to go up up, up. 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 cuddle means up cuddle means he wants to be carried we go up here where are we going where do you want to go this way this way is this the mountain This is back at nursery now as well. Yeah. Wow, it was quite steep. I'm just uh, doing my best. Edison wants to go up here. He's, uh, he's the boss. Hi. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so you see the mountains over there. I think there's even a tractor over there, Edison, somewhere. We've got a blue trailer on. Yeah. So we'll take a little walk along here. I'll get my breath back. And we enjoy the even more stunning, spectacular views. And Edison's really just enjoying himself. So Edison, you want to come back here for a moment? Edison, you say goodbye. <laughs> back in, back in. <laughs> I think that's the best we're going to get, and I'm out of breath. So uh, catch you all soon. Bye, Edison. Bye.